What's up guys? It is me, Karina. If you're new subscribers, welcome to my old subscribers. Hello. I am actually really excited to be filming today. As you may have noticed, I took a little bit of a break from YouTube. I didn't really do it on purpose, to be honest. Um, I just got really busy at the end of semester. A lot of you know that I'm in university, and with finals and everything, I felt a bit a bit overwhelmed. So I think, um, yeah, like one week went by, and I was like, I can't, I can't get a video up this week. And then like a couple more weeks went by, and then I went to New York at the end of semester. So it all got a little bit crazy. And I thank you all for sticking with me through my little break. But I am back, making more videos, and I'm really excited about it. So that is that. I don't want to do a little a blabby intro. So what I'm doing right now, like I said, I just got back from New York a couple of days ago and my bag's still sitting on my floor with all my stuff in it. And I thought, hey, while I unpack, why not film a what I packed video to show you guys what I packed to go to New York. So we went, um, we actually drove down um, in, in a car <laughs> um, to New York City and then on the way back we spent like two nights kind of road tripping back. So I have stuff like to wear in the city, stuff to wear on a road trip, so I'll just show you pretty much what I packed, the outfits I packed. Not going into detail too much, but I'll just show you what I got in my bag. So here we go. So to start, this is the bag that I brought with me, like a big duffel bag. It's from Herschel. Um, this is the second time I use it to go on a trip and um, really like it. Like it fits everything really well and I, what I also really like is it has this um, zipper compartment on the side that packs a pair of shoes or two into there. I don't know if you guys see. So that's great. I always like get annoyed packing shoes and little bags and stuff not to dirty my clothes. So that's the bag I brought with me and I guess I can just straight up show you guys what shoes I brought. So I only packed three pairs of shoes and I'm very proud of myself for that because I find shoes is always a really hard thing to pack. Again, um, this is like springtime in Montreal in New York City so um, obviously my footwear goes according to that. So I packed these really like I can wear these with anything. Plain black booties. They were so convenient while I was in New York because literally they went with every outfit that I packed. I didn't really put too much thought into it before I, like while I was packing what shoes I was going to wear, but I just brought these and such a good decision. Super comfy too in a city like New York that you know you're just going to be like walking all day long. So that was my first pair. My second pair, obviously going to New York you need to pack a pair of sneakers. Um, again, just plain white sneakers was perfect because they had a plain black pair of shoes and a plain white pair of shoes and these are awesome because I kind of... I. Wear, wore them with more sporty outfits some days, I wore them with more um, kind of like trendy outfits, P adding a pair of sneakers to a trendy outfit is just like perfect, I find it makes it even trendier. Um, so yeah, these were such a good decision, both these pair and the black pair. And then I did pack a pair of heels, um, of course a very comfy pair of heels because I wasn't sure if I was going to be like putting them in a bag and changing into them halfway through the day in New York if we were going to decide to go out at night. Um, so these pair are by Sasha London and they are so comfy because they are platform. Um, so really like the incline of your heel is only really like an inch high. Um, I actually didn't end up wearing them. So when we ended up going out, we weren't going anywhere like too fancy. We didn't go clubbing or anything. We just went to bars and um, I ended up just wearing my boots that I was wearing during the day. But I just want to show you guys anyway, these are the heels that I packed. And again, they're like a beige color. So again, really convenient because they went with all the outfits that I packed. So I will show you guys the first outfit I wore in New York. I think I'll like, I'll try and put a little picture overlay um, from my Instagram of the outfits that I wore. So um, these pants were such a good thing to pack. Uh, these are by Mott and Bo and I actually think they're based in New York City. They're like jegging style, high waisted, um, a little like washed, washed out black denim and these were awesome. I ended up actually wearing them two of the days that I was in New York because they're just so comfy seriously like to be wearing all day. Um, yeah, so just plain black washed out black jeans and the first night we got there in the evening so we kind of just went out for dinner straight away and I wore this cute um, blouse that I got from Revolve. I think I fe yeah I did. I fe featured it in my spring lookbook. I will link that below um, too. So just put this little blouse on with those high-waisted jeans and I was seriously like 
ready to go. I wore that with the black booties. And since it is springtime, um, I wore a little jacket since we were out in the evening. And this is just a vintage jacket I have. It actually used to be my aunt's. And it's just like vintage um, suede camel coat. Oversized. Perfect. So that was my first outfit I wore. So day two, I just uh, wore some plain mom jeans. These are a pair I got from Garage last year. Super comfy, like high-waisted a bit. And with that, I wore just a plain white long sleeve. Um, to, sorry, it's a bit wrinkled. It was like in my bag and I haven't unpacked yet. Um, so yeah, plain black plain black, plain white long sleeve and has a bit, kind of a bit of a mock neck to it. Um, and then to make it a little like trendier, more fashionable, um, I wore this corset belt over the white long sleeve. So I wore the white, well I'm gonna, again I'm gonna put a picture, but I wore the white top out like it wasn't tucked into the jeans and then this over it. And again, since it's, a little, it's still a little bit cool here, I wore um, this trench over it. But it's quite thin, that's why I, why I wore a long sleeve underneath. I didn't want to be cold. Um, and I absolutely love, 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 love this trench, the color, the stripes, everything. This is from Revolve. And yeah, that was my outfit number two. And that day I wore um, the white running shoes, which kind of makes sense, like white top. And it was so comfortable. That was the day we walked the most and it was perfect. So that's outfit number two. And then day three, I had initially planned to wear another outfit. I forget what it was, but like I had brought a couple of like extra things in case I wanted to like interchange outfits. Um, but what I ended up wearing was, like I said, again, these Montenbeau jeans. Um, oh, and by the way, I'll try and link whatever below, whatever I can below if you guys want to check that out. So yeah, like I said, I was wearing these again because they're just so comfy and I thought, why not? Um, the black booties and this t-shirt. Again, this was I, a couple of things I packed for my spring lookbook because it, they're kind of like my favorite spring items. Again, this is really um, wrinkly because it's in my bag. Um, so yeah, just a cute band tee. This one's from Garage. A uh, little Rolling Stones t-shirt. So that tucked in to the high-waisted black jeans. And oh yeah, and my favorite. Ooh, let me get it. Again, a favorite of mine that you guys have for sure seen quite a bit. Um, my oversized denim jacket with the little like beige collar. Again, this is vintage. This is my dad's from the 80s. Um, so I wouldn't really know where to get it. But I know that, um, what's it called? The Vintage Twin. I was in Soho shopping. They had a bunch like this. So you could probably check that out. I'll see if I can link that below as well. So, and my hair was getting pretty greasy by day three. Because, you know, trying to like let my hair go a few days between washes so a little hat came in handy um yeah just like my favorite hat if you're what are, these are called i think they're called like something like sailor boy hats no that's not it <laughs> i don't know anyways i just wore this hat um and this is a hat that i got like in a market in thailand so can't really link that but i'll link something similar so that was outfit number three and then my final day I actually the pants are in the wash so I can't show them to you but I'll show you the top yeah my final day I was just there in the morning and I really wanted to just be really comfy so I wore the running shoes again um, and this time I wore this mesh top like mesh boyfriend tee uh, this is from garage again and a cute bralette underneath because it, since it's mesh like so I wore this you see kind of yes uh, this is from our den I believe and again from garage I was just wearing leggings uh, just plain leggings um, but they have like the white stripe on the side and uh, with that to add a bit of color I wore this pink windbreaker rain jacket but it's really cute it has this uh, little fold over collar and this as well was in my spring lookbook so I will link that below as I have previously mentioned so that was outfit number four. So that sums up my New York City outfits. Also, um, I packed two pairs of sunglasses, like my go-to John Lennon kind of style ones, and then my new pink ones that I got recently. So I had two pairs of sunglasses. Uh, what else? Then I have my handy dandy, um, what's that called? Toiletry bag. 
I've written a couple articles about this in the past, like for magazines and stuff. My packing tips, I always have a small um, little like kind of carry-on travel size toiletry bag ready to go now because I always used to forget things so now I just have like a little toothpaste, a toothbrush ready, a little shampoo, a little conditioner, like everything's ready so that when I know I'm going on a trip, boom, just grab this and it's ready to go. So I have packed my toiletry bag, then I brought, let me just find it, oh it's not in here, but I have like a makeup bag that's about the same size that I just bring kind of like my go-to makeup items. I don't bring all my makeup when I'm going on like a three, four, five day trip. So I brought one about the same size. And then again, and then finally I bought, brought like one last little pouch um, that just has dry shampoo in it. Uh, this is Kevin Murphy dry shampoo. Um, my favorite Dove deodorant and um, my everything powder by Cake Cosmetics. Cake Beauty cake, whatever, um, that I did a post on recently, so you guys can check that out. So these are just kind of like really basics to travel with, deodorant, dry shampoo, and this is, it's called everything powder because you literally can do everything with it. It's like for greasy hair, shiny skin, um, pretty much to like freshen up. This fit in my purse and I just carried it around in my purse the whole time. Um, um, and continuing also uh, for toiletries, I uh, these are seriously my favorite. These are the Garnier Skin Active Makeup Removing Micellar Wipes. And I also had a little micellar water bottle too in my toiletry bag, but these are seriously so good to travel with. I think they're, like this isn't sponsored or anything, seriously guys. Um, these are by far my favorite wipes that I've ever used. Just putting that, that out there. And then for the um, more um, road trip portion of it, I actually only packed like one outfit to road trip in. It was just a plain kind of darker jean. They're kind of a skinny fit. And um, this hoodie. It's really cute. It's from Billabong. And I was just wearing my jean jacket most of the time that we were in the car driving and like going to waterfalls and stuff. Um, and I packed um, one bathing suit as well. It's pretty cold out so I didn't end up, we didn't end up actually swimming but always pack a bathing suit whenever you're going on a trip. You never know. And um, that sums it up. I also packed a couple of extra tops just in case like I wanted to switch things up um, for my outfits. But those are the outfits that I ended up wearing. But I packed like an extra white tank top, little white off the shoulder top. Um, what else? And this, this little vintage chop. But didn't end up wearing it. The little buttons. Can you see? Yes. And then the purse that I brought was this purse. Um, seriously, it was the first time that I traveled with this purse and it was so perfect. I could fit my wallet, my vlogging camera in here. Like, I think I fit a water bottle in it too. It's the perfect size travel purse. And it has a handle here, like if you just wanna put it around your wrist and also has a crossbody. So seriously, I cannot speak high, more highly of this size bag to travel with. So good. So, so good. Of course, I also packed like underwear, socks, um, bras, but I'm not gonna show you guys that. Like that's kind of everyone else. Like, I don't know, you guys can figure that kind of stuff out. And of course, I packed like just a t-shirt and some boxer shorts to sleep in. And um, I think that's about it. I packed my laptop as well. And yeah, I think that's about it. Anyway. That sums up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, yeah, I haven't really filmed a video like this ever, or no, I haven't filmed it in a while. So this is fun. I hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me whatever video suggestions you have below. It's summertime now. I'm really getting into filming, getting back on my YouTube channel. So leave all those below, and I will enjoy reading them all and hopefully getting around to filming them. If not, if you don't have any, just leave a nice little comment below. Say hey, say what up. I uh, always enjoy reading your comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. And love you guys. Thank you all for all the support. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.